Hello folks and goats, this is Griffin with the Command Valley bringing you one of our first Commander Legends primers. Now these primers are meant to be a introduction to the partner commanders, not a full deck tech but just an introduction to those cards and what we think would work well with them and cards that we think would go really well in decks that they belong in. Thank you to GameGrid for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out their new and improved store and support the channel while doing it, check out the link in the description below. If you want to support the channel directly, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash commandvalley to sign up for our awesome cool perks. We are going to be covering Quark the Thumbless. For one in red, we've got a 2-2 legendary creature goblin wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, return that spell to its owner's hand. If you win the flip, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. And it's got partner. So you can have two commanders if both have partner. So again, a quick introduction. These primers are meant to be centered around the partner commanders because we can't do a deck tech on every partner combination that there is. So these primers are meant to help you be introduced to these partners and know what their purpose is, what strategies they're centered around so you can find the right partner to go along with Quark for your own decks. So first let's talk about Quark and his strategy. So obviously we're going to be doing a, a spell slinger strategy and no matter what colors we're going to be in, our focus is going to be around the instants and sorcery spells that we're casting. Now for Quark, you can either get double or nothing, meaning if you lose your flip, that spell will return back to your hand and it will not resolve. If you win the flip, you get a copy of it. Now the first and obviously the best card that goes along with Quark is Quark's Thumb, which is an artifact for two generic if you would flip a coin, instead flip two coins and ignore one. So whenever you cast an instance or sorcery with Quark out and you flip a coin, you can flip two coins and just use one of them to determine your outcome, which means most of the time we're going to be able to get a copy off of it, which means more likely we're going to get a copy off of it. Now the cool thing about Quark is that every color combination that you can choose to go along with Quark has an instant or sorcery subtype that goes along with it. For instance, pairing Quark with a white commander is focused around removal spells, control spells, You've got things like Path to Exile, Source to Plowshares. You've also got a lot of ways of making tokens in white, so things like Call of the Copper Coats, Secure the Wastes, Martial Coup are all good instant and sorcery cards to put into your red-white cork deck for a sub-theme of removal and tokens. Now for red-green, we've got a lot of ramp spells. Obviously, you want your Farseek, your Kodama's Reach, Cultivate. You can use that to ramp up to the big spells, and then when you're ready, you can cast things like Tooth and Nail, Turn Timber Symbiosis, or big X spells like Genesis Wave, Finale of Devastation, Triumph of the Hordes, and Overwhelming Stampede. For our red-black, we've got a lot of removal in black and also tutors, so you can use those tutors to find those combo pieces or, or play it for more of a, a chaos style strategy. Obviously for our tutors, we've got Vampiric Tutor, Grim Tutor, Dark Petition. For some removal, we've got Diabolic Edict, Devour and Shadow. Graveyard synergies go well with Entomb and Buried Alive. Then late game, we can cast Graveyard Recursion, such as Command the Dread Horde, Dread Return, Grave Strength, Corpse Dance, and Reanimate. Now the best color combination in my opinion that goes along with Quark is definitely going to be a red-blue. If you are looking to build the, the best focus deck around Quark, you, you want to have a blue partner or a blue combination partner. The reason why I say this is even though Quark has a strategy focused around double or nothing, when you cast those instants and or sorceries, even if they go back into your hand, you still get to cast them, which means there's a lot of leeway we can use by getting effects off of when we cast instant and or sorcery spells. So in red blue, we've got effects like Young Pyromancer, Talrand Sky Summoner, Thing in the Ice, Niv Mizzet Perun, Metallurgic Summonings, even things like Swarm Intelligence, where when you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you can copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. You still get that Swarm Intelligence trigger, even if you have to put it back into your hand. The same goes for cards like Double Vision, or if you flip Primal Amulet. There's a lot of strategies that are centered around spell slinging in red blue. So in my personal opinion, even though we haven't gotten a lot of spoilers for partners yet, I would recommend putting Quark with a red blue strategy centered around casting instants and sorceries and getting effects off of your instants and sorceries instead of using Quark as just an effect where you can either double your instants and sorcery spells or you return it back to your hand to cast again. Playing things like Murmuring Mystic, Tower in the Sky Summer, and Young Pyromancer will assure that even if you return your cantrips, your removal spells, 
and your draw spells back to your hand, you will still get the advantage of getting those cast triggers off of those enchantments and creatures. As far as it goes right now, the commander that I would recommend the most would be to pair Cork with Ludovic Negro Alchemist, which is one blue red for a 1 4 human wizard at the beginning of each player's end step. That player may draw a card if a player other than you lost life this turn. You can use Ludovic as your card draw, and you could use Cork as your instance and sorcery spell slinging base. If you guys would like to see a deck tech off of Korg, it's probably going to be around one of the blue partners that cares about instants and or sorceries, or even one we could do with Ludwig Necro Alchemist. If you guys want to see that deck tech, then please let us know in the comment section below. I hope this video helps you decide whether you want to build a Cork deck and what kind of strategies you want to focus it around. Again, with Cork, you can go any which direction with any colors because every color wants instants and or sorceries or has an instant and or sorcery sub theme for those colors. But the best is obviously going to be Is It, where we have the most support for spell slinging strategies. And thank you for watching our primer video on Quark the Thumbless. We will be doing primers for many of the partners that are coming out. If you want a specific partner, then please let us know in the comment section below and we'll be happy to do primers on ones that you guys recommend. Content will be coming out repetitively over the next month for Commander Legends and we are all very, very excited for all the spoilers coming out and we hope that you guys are too. A quick reminder to make sure that you check out our social media that we will link in the description box and on the screen and we stream Brawl on Arena every Tuesday at 7pm Mountain Standard Time and we'd love to see you guys there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.